Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10 Beta 3. This came in fairly large at 372.8 megabytes and updated pretty quickly uh, from Beta 2. So let's take a look at the build number. The build is 14A5309D, and this particular build actually has a fair amount of bug fixes and a couple little tweaks and changes. So this particular update had about three pages of bug fixes in the notes and many other known issues. So there's over five pages of other known issues and that's to be expected at this point in a beta. However, in past betas, once we get to about three or four, they become much more stable. And this one seems to have fixed the rotate bug. It would stay in landscape seems to have fixed that also fixed a problem for me actually when I was driving I would have the phone plugged into my car you'd you'd be listening to a podcast or music get a notification that caused haptic feedback or the shaking of the phone and it would pause that playback and it was really frustrating I really couldn't listen to anything using this particular device so I had to uh, use another device until that was fixed which it is in this particular beta they've also added haptic feedback when you lock the phone so when you lock it here, you actually feel a little shake in the phone itself. So that's added. They updated the keyboard click sound from beta one and they put it back. They actually got rid of it in beta two and now it has a new sound, uh, which isn't too much different, but it is a little bit different. When you go into a message and you see these little photos, they're no longer cropped where they were before. That was a problem and it would crop everything. You couldn't see it. They've changed that. They've also changed it where you share. So when you push on this with 3d touch, if you share, say, SoundCloud, it will say share SoundCloud. It used to just say share, so they've updated that. They've also tweaked the home UI for Apple's home app. In here, they've changed this a little bit, not anything really dramatic. Also in Apple Music, if you go to Apple Music, where it used to say download, it originally said downloaded music, then they change this to downloads, and then they changed it back to downloaded music. So they tweak these things over and over until they get it right. If you go into the Siri settings here, you'll see that they have app support, and this basically allows apps you use with Siri to send information like your contacts and other data to Apple to process your requests. It's a little bit of an update, but you can tweak this on and off if you have anything using that. They also fixed some bugs with the home screen replies. So if you're on your home screen, you get an e or a text message or email message, you go to 3D touch and reply. It just had some issues over and over and then they might work, it might not. They've actually fixed that. In the health app, they've actually tweaked some of the interface as well. And also they have videos that are placeholders. Uh, those right here, watch the overview video. It's kind of just a placeholder, doesn't do anything. So that's there, but Basically, overall, it seems like it's less buggy. There are some screen frame rate lag uh, that's going on. There's some lag going on with uh, movements of different icons. Actually, if I go into landscape, it seems to be fixed with the 3D touch, and it has been for a while, but now there's lag in different places. Sometimes when I open an application, there's lag. Other times, there's not. So it just depends on what I'm opening and when. Sometimes it, it lags. You see, so, see it just stuttered there a second. See if it'll do it again. Yeah, it didn't do it that time, but sometimes it stutters as it comes in uh, and then it doesn't do it and then it stutters again. So it's hard to say when it does this, but once in a while it will stutter when it's going into different applications and it's it's something they're working on. It's gotten better, but definitely something they need to fix. There's other little tweaks and fixes throughout. Like I said, there's three pages of bug fixes and many more pages of known bugs that are still within this beta. So we'll probably have another two to three betas before the final launch in September, usually every two weeks. So I would expect an iOS 10 beta 4 in about two weeks from now, sometimes a little bit sooner or later, just depending on how quickly they're working on this. For those of you on the public beta, I'd probably expect that sometime tomorrow. And for those of you using just the standard iOS, iOS 9.3.3 was just released with some bug fixes as well. I'll leave a link to that here. And that's pretty much it, unless you're on the beta programs for the Mac or for Apple Watch and Apple TV. You have updates and all sorts of beta updates for that as well. Other than that, that's pretty much all I could find visually within iOS 10 beta three. But if you found something or there's something I didn't mention, please feel free to leave it in the comments below and let us know. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.